All right, today is Monday, October the 8th, 2012, and I'm going to be talking about blueprinting joint ventures. And uh, this video is dedicated to Neville Medora because I know he's going to like my high tech uh, wireframe design system I'm using here, which is a piece of uh, paper that's uh, three hole punched and a purple pen. All right, so. Uh, joint ventures typically start with uh, some set of goals in mind. If you look at the goal circle there, um, and I, you know, I got the first goal set as income. That probably ought to be um, probably ought to change that to uh, lifestyle. And uh, I say lifestyle because to me, lifestyle is a, an equation of um, uh, free time, free money, health, and happiness. So, problem with most uh, activities like a job is you got to constantly put in more time to get out more money, and your health and happiness tend to go down. <laughs> so, and then uh, if you you know spend less time, you get less money, and then your health and happiness go down. So, the ideal um, uh, the the ideal uh, true business activity. I, I've got several definitions of uh, true business. Um, one of them is that. Um, a, uh, a true business is any activity that over time requires less and less time for uh, or decreased time for increased income until the entire activity goes on autopilot. And then the other thing about uh, business is that it actually produces lifestyle, which means as your time investment goes down, your income increases and your health and happiness increase also. So the first thing, the first item there in the goals circle should be uh, probably better 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 said is lifestyle than just income uh, next thing is list expansion in other words um, or uh, maybe that one should be tribe building would be better and uh, tribe building is uh, in essence a way to uh, uh, attract capture and keep your kin Ooh, that's got good alliteration attract capture and keep your kin uh, and then the other is uh, social buzz which means uh, because your tribe is buzzing so much about your activity, uh, their buzzing uh, or conversations about what's going on will attract other people that are outside your tribe to come join your tribe. All right, so now let's go down to the kind of the uh, second tier here, which is two circles, um, one to the left, one to the right. One is list holder and one is product holder. And, you know, usually... Um, uh, in the in the goal situation, for example, uh, a list holder and product holder uh, will both have a goal as a lifestyle increase by a joint venture, and then also the um, uh, the product holder will also typically have an increase in their uh, tribe, uh, so they'll be adding to their list, and so. The list holder and product holder will uh, form some sort of agreement, and it could be just a, a um, you know, a handshake or an oral, you know, set of considerations about what the target is. Uh, for example, um, uh, it might just be to do something fun together and you know see what happens. It, you know, joint ventures don't have to be all that formal. They can be highly formalized, or they can be highly informal. Uh, and um, if you look down at the next circle, call to action, you know, every joint venture is going to have some sort of call to action. So um, if you look closely, you'll see that there are two offer lines, one that goes from the product holder to the call to action and one that goes from the list holder. The list holder is a solid line, so in general, the whole purpose of a, uh, a product holder doing a joint venture with a list holder is to increase their list. Uh, so the solid line means that in the majority of cases, um, every case I can think of, the list holder is going to basically uh, contact their tribe and tell them about the uh, particular joint venture offering, which might be a product or a service or a book or a audio or a video or consulting or coaching. Uh, consulting being more one-way. Um, uh, coaching being more interactive or two-way, the so that's the distinction between consulting and coaching. And then the call to action then is going to uh, drive back up to the goals and produce an outcome. 
Now you'll also notice that there's a dotted offer line from the product holder to the call to action. That dotted line means that uh, in a lot of cases the product holder will have a house list and they may uh, jointly do an offer uh, to the same uh, call to action uh, as uh, either one list holder or there might be 10 or 15 or 100 list owners or holders. Uh, in the case of, for example, if the the uh, product holder is doing some sort of um, product or announcement, or some people call it a product launch, and the list holders then are in a some sort of formalized affiliate capacity, capacity then um, there may be a whole bunch of different list holders. So anyway, those are kind of the um, particulars of a joint venture. Now, one of the things I'm going to be doing over the uh, next um, few weeks is uh, in general I do joint ventures I mean pretty much that's how our whole business runs is uh, doing joint ventures with different people and uh, the joint ventures could be as simple as um, uh, having a conversation with somebody and they mention to a few friends of uh, something that's going on a different act, different um, event or um, uh, a new product offering or an audio or video that's released. Uh, uh, so many joint ventures can be on a one-to-one -one basis. In other words, you can be having a joint venture with uh, uh, one of your clients that simply refers their friends uh, and relatives or colleagues to your particular offer. Uh, a more um, large-scale joint venture is um, I'm going to start doing these in public. I usually do them in private. I just you know have a phone conversation or a Skype call or get together with somebody and do a joint venture. Uh, I'm going to be doing um, uh, some public uh, blu uh, blueprinting joint venture activities of which uh, you'll see this video listed as an introduction to blueprinting joint ventures. And so um, if we take a look at um, uh, a, a very simple joint venture, let's take a look at uh, my uh, meetup group here, uh, Inside Track Party. And um, you can, uh, if you take a look at that, if, if, you, if you click over to that, uh, you can just Google Inside Track Party and you'll see that there are uh, currently 1,506 members on this uh, particular meetup group. So a simple joint venture might be um, to do a cross promotion. So say for example a person has a meetup group or another tribe, some list that they may maintain with another uh, product like uh, Get Response or uh, MailChimp or a Weber Infusionsoft. There's all sorts of different eye contact, constant contact all sorts of different mail list, mailing list managers. And so a lot of people's tribes are uh, private. Uh, Meetup is public. I mean, you can go click on the 1506 number there and you can walk down and see who's a part of our Meetup group. So, the, so Meetup is a very um, uh, transparent type of uh, tribal uh, machinery. Now, a simple joint venture might be if, uh, you know, if you have a, uh, a list or a product that seems to match the vibe of um, our group, which is you know people uh, enjoying having the inside track on uh, different technologies to assist them living well, doing what they love, then the simple joint venture for us. Uh, I see Bob Stevens just came online up there. Simple joint venture for um, us to do. Uh, you meaning the person with a list, and me being a person with a list is we simply cross post um, an event. In other words, uh, uh, for example, if you look here at the South Austin Conscious Language Introduction, a simple joint venture might be uh, for you to list this on uh, your meetup group or to um, uh, send a note to your group. Or to go down here, if you look down here uh, a little bit to the left, you can see our sponsors. Uh, you might list us in your, um, you know, our meetup group in uh, your sponsor block over here, and we do the same. So it's it's almost like a reciprocal link, although it's a little bit different than reciprocal links because this is actually people getting together. Uh, so. The benefit to both of us would be is, you know, if you have a few thousand people on a list and I have a few thousand people on this particular uh, public list, then it's an easy way for me to introduce my tribe to you and you to introduce your tribe to me. 
and that's um, uh, the, what the cross posting of events does and usually the best way to do that would be is if you know uh, you had an event that um, uh, or you know some sort of offering that appealed to my uh, tribe and uh, I had an event or offering that appealed to yours and we just cross post them and that's a very clean way of doing a joint venture that means that um, we both cross pollinate our lists so we both uh, build our tribes build our lists and you know you keep any income you generate I keep any income I generate it's extremely clean there's no um, uh, mo money swapping hands uh, in other words and uh, probably a good way to you know if you're if you're getting excited thinking that you'd like to you know do a joint venture with me uh, probably the first good activity um, that you can do is to create a uh, audio logo that will explain what the the foci or the focus of your group is and so my audio logo for inside track party that I've been using here recently is um, an audio logo is usually a 15 to 30 second ad spot is what you can think of it as uh, which is typically given in a, um, a networking introduction at a group networking group so here's the introduction I give to inside track party um, well if you love kissing and then I pause keeping it super simple and you love hanging out with uh, other uh, wicked smart people who also enjoy kissing keeping it super simple in their um, their life their business their relationships their health uh, then you know uh, Google inside track party and join the party so that's uh, yeah I haven't timed that but I guess it's you know someplace between 20 and 30 seconds so that's an that's an example of a um, an audio logo in other words I didn't get up and say Hi, my name's David. I got this meetup group. You ought to come. You know, I, you know, I first off, I started out with a, a little Brokus candy. For those of you who are Wizard uh, Academy sorts of uh, people, Brokus is the, the um, first bar bouncer gatekeeper to your brain that says if uh, it's got to be unique and interesting or it's out. And so when I stand up in a networking group and everybody said, hi, my name's John. It sounds like a freaking AA meeting. I said, my name's John. I sell insurance. Who cares? When I stand up and say, uh, well, if you love kissing, and I've paused and I've got everybody's attention, keeping it super simple, then I define what kissing is and then go on. So typically an audio logo will be uh, benefit-centric and uh you know meaningful to your tribe and any first person personal um, words like I me mine will uh, be absent uh, so um, uh, if you do um, have a joint venture that you'd like to do then you can uh, roll up an audio logo and uh, you can um, uh, send me the audio logo uh, in the form of a recording and also um, you might scan the um, uh, the event listing or the event calendar on our meetup group because I'm going to start doing uh, public ones like I said and uh, let's see this is October the uh, 8th and 9th 10th so Wednesday morning I'm going to do one uh, it's going to be at Beats I'm about to list it here on our um, uh, meetup group and uh, you know be sure and come to that and also um, uh, the best way to do a um, you know some sort of joint venture project with me is you you pretty much got to interact with the tribe. I I only do projects with people that I know and that I've hung out with. So if you just kind of you know cold call me and pitch me, um, uh, I've um, I've yet to take anybody up on an offer like that. Uh, I have uh, a sort of a little bit of a a um, you know a hurdle for people to jump over and that is you got to come to our house for some event or someplace and you know drink some chocolate with the tribe and interact with the tribe and if you get along well with the people in the room including me then I figured that you're you know uh, you're good folk and that's people I like to hang out with and do uh, projects have fun with and uh, share inside track uh, partying with so anyway, that's a, um, a little bit of an overview about uh, blueprinting joint ventures and a simple example of a joint venture, which is just uh, swapping events on a meetup group or to a list. And um, if you'd like uh, a little bit uh, uh, deeper dive, this was kind of a surface swim. Uh, if you'd like a deeper dive into blueprinting joint ventures, um, you know, attend one of the, uh, the public uh, joint venture blueprinting gigs and, um, uh, you know, 
toss in your two cents worth. Anyway, we'll see you at uh, some event soon. Enjoy.